Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Tally G and this channel is all about me taking you guys along for the journey with me as I build this clothing brand. I apologize, I have been away yet again, but I'm back guys and I'm gonna try and be consistent. I feel like I always say that, but I'm really gonna try. And also I need to apologize for any background noise or any echo. I am filming in a relatively large room, so I just thought I would point that out. But anyway guys, oh and for my new new viewers please subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of content i'm basically quite open and transparent about business this video today is going to be a very like open and transparent video because i'm going to be sharing with you guys my launch plan for my juxtaposition collection that i released in november 2021 so if you're into that kind of content into transparency into business please be sure to subscribe to my channel just click the subscribe button and um, join the fam road to 25k and all that good stuff. Let's get into this video. So in November 2021, 2021, I launched the Juxtaposition collection. Now with this launch, it was kind of like a rebranding in a sense. I had finally found my feet with running this business and knowing exactly how I want to move forward with my brand. So I launched this whole collection. And of course, behind the scenes, there's a lot, a lot of planning that goes into like launching a collection so I'm actually gonna share with you guys my launch campaign I put together a whole presentation like a whole document that I would go back to and make sure that I'm following because honestly guys fail to plan plan to fail it's a real thing and this launch plan although I probably didn't do everything that I set out to do it's still good to have that document and um, probably go back to it for like another collection so we're gonna jump into my screen guys i feel like i haven't done this in in a while i'm excited okay guys so we're gonna just quickly hop into my screen and as you can see this is what my cover page for my launch plan looked like i'm not sure how transparent i'm gonna be whether i'm gonna show you figures as well i don't know but let's go so the first page is obviously some key dates launching a collection especially one that has got several items i believe this this collection had 11 items it takes a lot of time so we actually scheduled the photo shoot to be on the 7th of may in 2021 and then the online launch date was scheduled for the 4th of november and i believe we didn't actually end up launching on that date because we had the pop-up shop on the 6th of november and then we launched after the pop-up shop so then on the next page obviously i've got my contents page um i'm not gonna go through the contents page because it's basically like what i'm gonna go through in the document so here are my goals and objectives so the aim is to obviously launch my new season with a bang followed by selling out my collection in six months obviously i'm in the future and i know that we didn't sell out the full collection in six months but we did sell out a couple of items at the pop-up which was prior to the launch so things happen the pop-up shop we expect 20 to 30 sales i was very like realistic and under estimated myself so 20 to 30 sales with an average basket total of 150 i feel like the basket total was a little bit high then in launch week we expect 30 online orders again i was trying to be as realistic as possible we expect a turnover of approximately six thousand in the first month of launch if this campaign is successful website so obviously when i relaunched slash launched this collection i switched up the whole website website so on this page it's basically highlighting what's important for the website so for the website okay so basically we had a photo shoot planned already and the photo shoot had several different rooms and i do touch on the photo shoot plan in this document as well but on here i was just basically trying to highlight exactly what i wanted on my home page so in the slideshow what types of images i wanted on the collection list what images i was going to show and then also i wanted a video which was going to be like the ivory park star video i don't think i actually followed through with that but i did put a video which is quite i like it 
<laughs> and then also I wanted there to be a blog feed which was a mixture of edits and campaigns I wanted my website to have a magazine page I took that inspiration from the Louis Vuitton website and this was basically what my magazine page was going to look like what the main image was going to be I wanted to make sure that it's different to the home page but obviously matching the theme here under edits as you can see I've got some of the it's kind of annoying that I can't point let me point let me let me do this okay I think that's better so here are some of the edits uh, that I was gonna have um, so some blog posts so these were some of the blog posts that I had planned and then over here I've got the campaigns and also like some images so on this page I go into a little bit more detail about what sorts of images I wanted on the website and on social media so as you can see these are the types of images that I wanted on the website and then these are the types of images that I wanted on social media and then on the next page I obviously put um, a little bit of a mood board as to how I want the images to kind of appear and look on my social media so she was a magazine I feel like <laughs> this campaign document is a little bit jumbled up but to me at the time it makes sense but looking back at it now it does feel like it's a little bit jumbled up but anyway this goes into a little bit more depth about what blogs I was going to post and some blog ideas my blogs are split into two so they're split into campaigns and edits so edits are a little bit more about random things pertaining to the business whereas campaigns are to do with the actual campaign so I wrote about the juxtaposition what was behind seats at the table that sort of thing so that's what we have here then here I dive into a little bit of my email marketing strategy I have two sets of email lists so I've got the Shifoshima email list and then I've got the Tadiji email list and I was going to target both here is just basically what emails I was going to send out so for the Shifoshima email subscribers it was going to be a drip of three emails so there'll be an email a week before the launch morning of the launch and 15 minutes before the launch so that they can I believe I allowed them to shop earlier and within that link there was also going to be a live YouTube video which I'm going to touch on in the next slide and then for my Taddy G subscribers I only sent them two emails because obviously they're Taddy G subscribers so here I just basically highlighted what I kind of sort of wanted my emails to look like and what I wanted to be in those emails press release I need to learn a little bit more about how to actually send a successful press release and for them to actually get back to me because they didn't this was basically the idea of what I was going to send as part of my press release and also when I was going to send it and who I was going to send it to so obviously about my brand inspiration behind the collection looks from the catwalk deals and an invitation to the live launch as well as a link to this channel so that they can meet me the founder and hear a little bit more about my story so you YouTube oh my gosh this is back when we still had like IGTV but yeah so launch date a Taddy G YouTube channel should be on a thousand subscribers minimum these were some of the videos that I was gonna film linked to the launch of this collection as well as some of the videos that I was gonna include on the Shiva Shiva IGTV this is a little bit more about the YouTube so this is diving a little bit more into the YouTube live I know for sure I didn't actually actually managed to deliver all of this but I tried the YouTube live is actually still on my YouTube channel so I can link that so you can see exactly why I ended up managing to come up with so this was the plan for the four campaign videos that I was gonna have as part of this whole like launch I done three out of four that I managed to achieve here so now we're gonna dive into a little bit more of the photo shoot the photo shoot plan and these were all the spaces that we had available to us as part part of the photo shoot so my photo shoot location had all of these different rooms so I had plans for what different looks were going to be taken in those different spaces so I had that like all planned out and obviously I had the pictures there ready so that I knew okay what looks do I want in certain spaces and then here was like a brief Instagram and Facebook post plan showing how frequently I want to post prior to and when I launch 
the collection and as you can see here I did want to do like Facebook ads and I was going to get into contact with a ad agency but I don't think I actually ended up doing that but on this next page overwhelming I know but this is basically a page of all the ideas of posts that I was going to do for my Instagram page it's a lot so I had some real ideas I had some TikTok posts and I had some feed posts that I was you know trying to gather ideas for so my influencer marketing campaign is something that I didn't actually follow through with but basically I wanted to kind of sort of copy what Ivy Park did and send like massive PR packages the reason why I wanted to do this with like a bang was because I didn't have a budget to pay the influencers to like showcase the clothes so I wanted to do it in a sense in a way that because the package is so like wow they want to video it anyway that was the idea behind that because I was doing a live YouTube launch so I wanted to send like PR packages that contain like things that you would typically find in the cinema so that's the idea of this sort of PR package I didn't do it <laughs> these were some of the influencers that I wanted to target the male ones <laughs> ambitious and some of the female influencers again ambitious a few more slides to go guys over here I just put like a brief plan as to how I wanted my pop-up to go I definitely know I exceeded this budget we didn't get to have a food truck because initially the space that I wanted would have been big enough for us to have like a food truck and all that stuff but then we ended up finding an amazing space in Oxford Street yeah it was a great pop-up I do have a video about my pop-up I'll link that so this was my overall budget for this entire launch campaign this budget is not the budget for like the cost of the clothing this is just the budget for my marketing this is my marketing budget and then finally this was my campaign calendar oh okay this has changed I released Nkosi and then I restocked Naya in July so this was the launch calendar for that but basically um, I put together a calendar so I know when to post things when to send emails when the launch date is and all that sort of stuff so guys I really really hope that that you have enjoyed that video i feel like it was a bit long-winded if you ask me but i didn't realize talking through that entire document was actually going to take that long but i definitely definitely feel like it is a useful thing to go through and i hope you've managed to take some inspiration for whenever you're launching your businesses from my document and guys try and put together a document like that because it's really really helpful and even now two years on or like a year and a bit on i still look back at that document and think oh okay that was a good idea i can use that if you get what i mean so yeah i really hope that this video has been helpful if it has please hit up that like button it helps my videos get to more and more people and please be sure to smash that subscribe button road to 25k yeah i will catch you guys in my very 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 next video goodbye